603 now. Today, closing arguments are set to begin in the trial of David Linthicum. He's charged with attempted murder for the shooting of two police officers. Amy Kawada on your corner in Towson this morning with the details on the arguments from the prosecution and the defense. Good morning, Amy. Cena, Tim, good morning. Well, after five days of intense testimony and chilling body cam footage shown during the trial, David Lithicum opted not to testify in his own defense before prosecutors, I mean, before attorneys rested his case. And we do want to warn you that this video we're about to watch may be disturbing. Prosecutors shared this police footage showing Baltimore County Detective Jonathan Chi passing Lithicum before pulling over to approach him. Are you ready to kill me? No, why? The encounter ended with Detective Chi shot multiple times before Linthicum stole his unmarked police truck and drove off. Meanwhile, David Linthicum's defense criticized police response to their client's mental health crisis from the beginning that led to the shooting of officers and days-long manhunt. Linthicum's attorneys called on several witnesses to testify, including a man who claims minutes before Detective Shi was shot, he passed Linthicum on that same stretch of Warren Road and immediately reported it to police. But he felt they did not take him seriously or doubted the accuracy of his account. Harford County Sheriff's Deputy Sergeant Matthew DeMarino, who negotiated with Linthicum before his capture in Falston, also called to the stand. DeMarino testified about how he used his former job as personal chef for O's legend Cal Ripken Jr. to bring the temperature down and peacefully end the situation. WJZ caught up with Linthicum's father outside of the courtroom. What I'm hearing is everybody saying there's all these policies that the police have. They're supposed to be following. They're not following anything. And again, the jury will be hearing closing arguments from both sides of David Linthicum's trial before going into deliberation. The 26-year-old is facing life in prison for the attempted murder of two Baltimore County police officers, along with a slew of other charges. For now, reporting live on your corner in Towson this morning, I'm Amy Kawada for WJZ.